Welcome to Fly the Nest. This is season four, episode one. Now, you will see we are here in the doorway of Anfield. We are going to be looking at Liverpool Football Club. Now, due to a technical issue, we're going to have to review how we do this. Uh, we lost some of the data from the early parts of the season, but the output was fantastic of what what was what was drawn from it. So, I will give you a rundown on the players that we're looking at and their early parts of their career, and then we'll move in to how they progressed once they flew the nest. Okay, guys. So let's get you all caught up. We are looking at Harvey Elliott. Got a little bit of Curtis Jones going on. We'll be having a little look at some James Balakisi. And a little bit of Leighton Clarkson. The normal premise is we pick one guy who is going to be the first team regular. Curtis Jones is that first team regular already at Liverpool. He was the guy we started with. The others... All spent that first season out on loan. We'll start with Harvey Elliott. Out on loan at Blackburn in the Championship. Had a relatively good season. The following year goes to Hertha Berlin. Again, quite a good season. Just under a 7 rating. But only plays 10 games in the Bundesliga. He then spends a season on loan at Southampton. Goes back to... Doesn't do well in the Prem. Going to be honest. Goes back to Liverpool, plays a couple of games. Goes back to Southampton on loan, where he has a full season. And again, his stats are not fantastic. But his output is okay. 29 games, four goals, one assist. Couple of player and match awards. He goes back to Liverpool, and this is where Harvey Elliott's career kicks on. 2024-25 season. And at Liverpool, he plays 31 games, gets four goals, four assists, with a 7.26 average rating. The season after, he is at Liverpool, 32 games with 10 goals, 3 assists and a 7.36. Inter Milan then snap him up for £26.5 million. Harvey Elliott then goes from strength to strength at Inter Milan over the next 10 years. You will get more information around that in the next video. So next, guys, we're going to look at Curtis Jones. Now, we know Curtis Jones was going to be our first choice regular from day one. That first season in the first team, 38 games, seven goals, three assists with a 6.86 average rating. The following season, 38 games, seven goals, five assists, one player at a match and a 6.87. He then looks as though he's going to pick up. And hits a 38, 9 goals, 10 assists, 1 player of a match, and a 7.11. And you think Curtis Jones is kicking on from here. But it doesn't happen. The next season is a little bit of a tail off. 37, 6, 5, 3 player of the matches, but only a 6.8 rating. 2024-25 season is the season of Curtis Jones. 38 games, 17 goals, 4 assists, 7.58 average rating. Curtis Jones has arrived. And I'll be honest, over the next 10 years at Liverpool, he keeps on delivering. You can catch up in the next bit of this video to find out how much. Next up, guys, we are going to look at James Balagisi. Now, he was the youngest of the players at the start. Only just joining Liverpool in the 2021 season. Straight away, 21-22, he's sent out on loan to Northampton. He plays 33 games, gets one goal, seven assists, but only a 6.67 average rating. And he's not looking good. But at the end of that season, snapped up. By PSG. Now, 
PSG have a habit of coming in for youngsters. He plays for the second team in that second in that season, and actually is quality for them. A 7.37, 21 games, one goal, five assists, and a player of the match. Then spends half of the season out on loan at Oostend in the top division in Belgium. Goes back to PSG where he starts the season with a game in the first team. But quickly again drops down into the reserves. 22 games, 2 goals, 6 assists, 7.43. Again, he ends up out on loan at Antwerp. This time though, only one game in the top flight in Belgium. PSG's second team again at the start of the following season with 23 games, one goal, four assists, two player of the matches and a 7.38. He gets his chance in PSG's first team, plays five games, gets himself a goal and an assist and just under a seven average rating. But the following season finds himself back again with PSG's second team and again out on loan at Antwerp. Does he make the chance? Does he does he have that opportunity to progress at PSG? What's going to happen next for James Balagizi? We'll find out in the next bit of the video. And then finally, we have got Leighton Clarkson. Now, Leighton Clarkson, a player that before doing this, I was never aware of. But he turns out. That Leighton Clarkson is a defensive midfielder currently in uh, Liverpool's under-23 squad. Never really had the chance to sort of progress anywhere. Spends a season out on loan at Northampton in season one. Does all right. 34 games, one goal, four assists, but only a 6.69 average rating. Goes to Birmingham the year after. Again, dropping down into the Skybet League one. 45 games, two goals, four assists. Average rating goes up slightly, then spends a season at Crystal Palace, who have now been relegated into the championship. He gets his chance in the Liverpool first team the following year, in the Prem with eight games, but then very quickly finds himself out on loan at Philadelphia in the MLS. And he kicks on from there, because the following season he's picked up by uh, LAFC, has two seasons there, and in the season of uh, the year 25, 2025, plays 33 games, gets six goals and 10 assists with three player of the match awards and a 7.39 average rating, which for a defensive midfielder is pretty tidy. He then gets a big money move, 13.25 million to Tottenham. We'll pick up and find out how well his career progresses in the next video.